Historic theaters are scattered all across the UP, and American Idol finalists visited one in Ironwood to perform with local vocalists. TV6's Harry Lee tells us why. American Idol Season 10 fourth place contestant James Durbin came to the historic Ironwood Theater to participate in its hit Idol. He wanted to help young musicians get a sense of support through their communities. I feel like this kind of setup and doing anything that involves your community is great because you get your community support. So if you end up doing something larger or even you know, still in your community, you already have that familiarity with the people around you. The theater has hosted live performances since it was built in 1928. Iron mining was booming at the time. Miners and their families came to the theater to watch vaudeville shows, concerts, and silent films accompanied by the theater's pipe organ. In the 1930s, the talkies, or films with sound, came out, and the organ went unplayed for years. But renovations in the late 1980s brought the live performance aspect of the theater back to life. There are many people who live in this area um, who were here for the premiere of movies like Jaws and some of the great movies of the 60s and 70s. It now puts on a variety of performances, including concerts, movies, plays, and special events like Hit Idol. Theatergoers say its history gives modern shows a special significance. The wonderful old theaters throughout the UP. Um, were expressions of the success of the time. And so I think um, being able to come in and, as I say, watch a silent movie in the same place that our grandparents did, uh, it connects us with the past. The theatre is open year-round and has about two shows a month. After Hit Idol, the theatre's next performance will be a screening of Warren Miller's Chasing Shadows on November 28th. Harry Lee, TV6 News, Ironwood.